All right, yo, so I ain't gonna lie. This shit was a little minute ago. I was in fourth grade, bro. How old was niggas in fourth grade? Like, like 10, 9, 10 years old, right? This shit was a little minute ago, but I would never forget this shit, bro. So niggas is in fourth grade, right? And you know how in fourth grade, you got the little boyfriend and girlfriend couple. You feel me? You got the you got the popular nigga. You got the like second most popular nigga. And then you got the the bitch that everybody want. That bit that one bitch that everybody fucking want, bro. And if you got that bitch, you're that nigga. You are that nigga, bro. Nobody could tell you shit at the time. Because you got the baddest bitch in the grade, nigga. Fuck. So I was the second popular nigga. First popular nigga, he had the bitch. But you know what I did? What's my name? I took his bitch. Word of my dad, I took his bitch. I had her. The second popular, the second most popular nigga. I had her. All I did was do a fucking backflip, bro. Niggas went on a field trip to the beach, and I did a fucking backflip. Now she was on my dick. Yeah, nigga. Took his bitch. So she was my girl. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was valid because everybody was treating me so much different. I was the second most popular nigga, but now I was on top of the fucking world. That's how I felt. I felt like I had that fucking championship belt, that WWE championship belt. That's how I felt. So we was dating for a calm little, we was dating for a calm little, little two, three weeks. Nigga, we went on another field trip to the Museum of, Museum of Modern Art. I will never forget this shit, I'm telling y'all. Museum of Modern Art. We go, th this was like two days before the fucking field trip, right? I got in trouble in school. I was a fucking class clown. I fucking acted up and I fucked up, bro. I had a head full of hair, right? I feel like that's why the, bi the bitch wanted me too. Because I had a head full of hair, nigga. My shit was curly. My shit was valid, you feel me? So she was playing to my shit. My shit, I felt good. You know what I'm saying? So she like, the hair was really, the hair really played a part in how I pulled her. You know what I'm saying? So I got in trouble in school of some bullshit bro like i was the class clown but like i wasn't doing too much like i was doing okay shit like this was not a reason to do what my parents did bro because what my parents did really broke my heart bro this shit really broke my heart because i feel like my life could have been way different than it is now i don't know but the shit could have went different if my parents didn't do what they did so i get in trouble right my parents fed up they like Oh, we sending you to school to learn. You over here bullshitting. You want to be the class clown. So now we go make you the fucking class clown. Bro, my parents take me to the barber. From the barber that I had back then, he's still my barber to this day. Shout out to my fucking barber, dog. So they take me to that nigga. First thing they, like, bro, as soon as I hop in that chair, bro, I already knew. And my mom just said two words. Cut it. Shaking my head, bro. That's all I could do. All I could do is shake my fucking head. Because I knew what the fuck was going to happen after this, bro. I knew it was over after this. So, that nigga cuts everything off, bro. I'm not bald, but I'm basically bald, bro. My shit was shiny. Like, my shit was really noticeable. Like, that shit just, it just pops out at you, bro. It's just shiny. You feel me? Big ass noggin, too. Bro, I didn't want to cry. But I, I cried inside, bro. I cried inside. The thing that was bothering me the most was not that my hair was gone. You know what else was gone? My fucking girl. I'm fucking nine, ten years old. I got the baddest bitch in the world. At the time, that's how I was thinking. I got the baddest bitch in the world. And you mean to tell me that that shit is about to be over in less than 24 hours? Fuck. So, and this was the day before the trip. I got the bean the day before the fucking trip, bro. So I, can, I didn't have a week to grow the shit out a little bit and get a little taper. Niggas was not doing tapers in fourth grade. Niggas was getting black Caesars and shit. Nigga, I just had to not get haircuts in order for me to not get my hair cut off. So, yo, I go home, bro, and I'm just depressed. Like, I just remember this shit so vividly because it was the way I was feeling, bro. Like, I was just so, like, sad. Cause I, and I didn't want to tell my parents. Like, they thought I was sad because I just got my hair cut off. But mom and dad... If y'all watching this, it was more than that. Y'all don't understand the pressure of being a fourth grader at the time. Like, and being in my position, I took, I took the most popular niggas. I took his bitch. And now I'm about to lose her. And y'all just think I'm I'm y'all think I'm mad because I was being bad in school. I don't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck. 
Like, I was bad, but I had a good heart. So niggas ain't really care. Let me just skip to when, like, feel me, the next day. Fuck, bro. I fucking hate this shit, bro. Yo, so the next day I come to school, hat on. I don't give a fuck. Hat on, nigga. We on the we we going we going on the trip. I could keep my hat on all day. Bro, tell me why my fucking teacher, Mr. Brandon, can't have your hat on indoors. You gotta wait until we leave the building. Oh my gosh. No! No, 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 no. The worst fucking thing that could happen actually happened. But you know what? Now that I think about it, it wouldn't have made that much of a difference. Because it's not like my hair would have grew back in three days, nigga. She was going to see that shit regardless. So now that I look back on it, fuck it that she told me to take my hat off, bro. I'm nervous as fuck, though. I'm mad nervous. I'm like, yo, everybody's about to laugh at me. The whole fourth grade class going to laugh at me. And I have, fr I have mad friends in that shit. I'm not going to lie. It, they was going to make fun of me. So I'm just trying to stall. I'm obviously being the class clown, making jokes. La, 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 la. No, nigga. Ain't shit was, nothing was funny, bro. Nothing was funny. So, I fucking, eventually, I grab the hat like this, and I just slide it off and put my head down, bro. All of a sudden, I heard somebody snicker. Yo, the whole fucking class is laughing at me, gang. Like, the whole fucking class is laughing at me. And I'm just laughing with them because I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, shit was not funny, bro. I was in pain, bro. I was in fucking embarrassment. I was, my embarrassment was at 100%, bro. I looked at the girl. I looked at my girl. She's just laughing with her friends, looking at me. And at that point, I already knew. But I just, I was just waiting for it to happen. And we didn't even go, we didn't even leave on the fucking trip yet. We didn't even go on the fucking bus. The school bus, the yellow T's bus. That shit is where everything happens. Still gotta go on that cheese bus. Niggas get on the cheese bus. Shit was calm. I was sitting next to her with my hat on. I'm thinking shit was sweet. In her head though, fuck this nigga. Fuck this nigga. He's done. I'm going back to the other nigga. Bro. So we on the cheese bus. I'm thinking like, I'm I'm actually surprised because I'm thinking like she she actually cool me cutting my hair. This bitch a rider. I can fuck with this. I'm married. We getting married tomorrow, nigga. Fuck. That's what I'm thinking in my head at the time. Little did I fucking know, though, bro. We get to the fucking trip, bro. We at, like, we go through the whole shit. We holding hands and shit, bro. Niggas is nine years old. I'm a little fucking little, little strip, nigga. Holding a bad bitch's hand, nigga. Fuck, bro. That shit was, oh, that, bro. Damn. Damn. That's all I could say is damn. Because, bro, like, lunchtime came. Niggas is cooling because I'm like, yo, she ain't break up with me. Niggas is not really laughing at me no more. Feel me? Because there's only so much niggas could say. Because, yeah, my hair is gone. I still look good, though. I still look good. Feel me? You couldn't tell me shit, nigga. I wasn't fly. I had I had black converse in elementary school. Niggas ain't really care about drip back then, bro. I was still swagged out regardless. Feel me? So, lunchtime came. Thought shit was sweet. One of her friends came up to me. Steve. Bleep bleep is breaking up with you. Damn, my heart dropped, bro. Like that shit dropped. That shit was my my heart dropped, and as my heart was dropping, it was breaking in pieces, bro. Because I'm like, fuck, bro. Like I would never count that as a real relationship though, because niggas was in fucking elementary school, so I ain't really care, bro. But my heart was broken, bro. I was depressed. I was in a, I was in the, the first stages of depression. I didn't even know what depression meant back then. But I was depressed. I was sad as fuck. And I was tight at my parents, especially for, for y'all or some. Oh, y'all really had to fuck up my riz like that. Because I really risked her up. I took that nigga's bitch. And now she broke up with me. So now he gets his bitch back. And who do I get? No one. I'm still the second popular nigga. Like, I was in tier one, bro. I dropped from tier one to basically tier two, bro. I didn't want to be in tier two, nigga. But niggas, niggas had to fuck this shit up. This shit got fucked up. This shit got fucked up over a haircut. You can't trust these bitches, bro. They not going to stay with you. They only stay with you because of your fucking hair. Because of my fucking hair, that's why you stay with me. And because I could do a backflip, I could do way more shit. See, you, 
You ain't even know it, nigga. You ain't even know it. But you'll never get to, you never, you never got to see me get to my true potential. And that's her loss. Fuck, nigga. That was fucking nice. That was the fucking perfect way to end off a story time, man. Thank y'all so much for watching, man. Make sure, again, y'all smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and turn on post notifications. I love y'all. Thank y'all for the support. I'll see y'all in the next video. God bless. Good night. The real race is great, I've been calling it granny. I caught that lunch truck in the big pen and rabbit. Go fucking on the shot of mama and granny. I'm taking up space and they squish me like sandwiches.